Hello, hello. <clears throat> oh shoot, sorry. <clears throat> then um, I had to clear my throat. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Hi, how's everybody doing today? Oh, uh, I was like, I was like, did it lie? Uh, but hi, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, it's super late in the night. Yes, I know, I know. It's it's very very late. But 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 here we are, again on our own. Banana. Um. But yeah, uh, so I feel definitely a lot more rested, a lot better for sure than yesterday. Yesterday, I don't know what it was, but I just felt like mentally and physically drained. So, <clears throat> so today I definitely feel a lot better. Um, and then I also took a shower like um, a few minutes ago. So I, I definitely feel refreshed. I feel great. I, I, I feel I feel honestly pretty good, pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, but I hope everybody's having a great day. You guys look beautiful. You guys look amazing. I, I miss all of you. Uh, we're going to be playing a little bit of high on life. I would say Valorant, but it, well, one, I want to switch it up. And then two, it's kind of late. So it's like not many people are going to be on. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, we're just going to continue high on life because I'm really having a great time playing this game. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I don't have my heart rate monitor because I, I didn't have, get a chance to really get my my um <clears throat> my playing it on the word here i didn't get a chance to get my watch and then i'm kind of lazy right now so i'm like you know what i'm gonna just play <laughs> i'm gonna just play so there we go did i put it correctly oh i missed it by a little bit okay let me move it okay, there you go beautifully placed flawless execution <clears throat> all right but i do have the i do have the redeems on um so like that in case if for example you say um use knifey it will use knifey so rest assured i do have the the redeems available on ready to go so please Use them whenever you guys would like to. Uh, I, I, will, I encourage you guys to use them whenever possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. <clears throat> it's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very mm -hmm, cool mm -hmm. uh, feature yes. that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. So essentially, what happened the last time is, well, we ended up getting our, this weapon, get nasty. and I actually really like this one. This one is really good because it's it's like crystals that just stab into people, and then not only that, uh, but if you hold it, it kind of like snipes them. So it's actually really dope. Hey, quit effing around out there with a the new toy, and we just recently. Oh shoot. Oh, dude, did it get squished? It got squished, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <clears throat> yeah, because I have it on. General. Oh, I'm going to get large. German. Oh. 
English, I guess. Difficulties Hunter. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, hold on. Is it that I just noticed that the display is actually squished for you guys? I don't know why, but it's squished. So I got to... Give me one second here. I don't know why it's squished for you guys. It's like, why? I mean, I guess... I guess in a way you guys could kind of see the Just so you know, when I insult <clears throat> you, I mean it with love. You piece of shit. I'm starting to think you forgot about me, bounty hunter. No, he's always going to be my default. Help! Somebody help me. Help me. Help! Help! Including classics. Like why? Oh, look at his go. Touch me again, I'll sue you. I'm gonna touch you again. Personal space. Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I've fucked more aliens than your brain could comprehend. Ooh. I don't want to touch your boyfriend. <clears throat> so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Wait, she's already dating? Wait, they're already dating? Oh my, I guess he's hot. You haven't even <clears throat> seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a watcher. She got it there. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Hey, come on, tell her I care about her. Jean, honestly, stay out of, stay out of the business. We're all living under the same <clears> roof, <throat> and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh, yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? Damn. Damn. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick <clears throat> of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Damn. 
Yeah, honestly, I don't care. Not that I needed your approval. <clears throat> oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. I just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Gene's a piece of shit. Yeah, even though she's a piece of trash, she is my, um... <clears throat> Giblets. Oh, we're gonna do that. <clears throat> all right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Clug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit! Another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess oh. what? I can't find <clears throat> shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. Does he have poop on his on a shovel? And just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Oh. What do we get? Detective hey, mode. Connor. It's me, Sudo again. I'm still here. Oh. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly, okay. with the fucking detective mode, well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And no matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's really useless. Thanks, Gene. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, hey, you. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret 15? Oh, why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... What? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But... <laughs> Good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. I hate this. Hey, uh, hey, tough talk boy. to me. We're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! What, the, the drug guys? No! I don't have 
family fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate, I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Mm. How you doing? <clears throat> like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Not good, not bad. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Uh, not really a big part of the show. I'm just this one segment. So see ya. I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. With us today, the star of the new film, Turtle Fuckers. Uh, well, what? Sure. But, yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. Yeah, it's a, but uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me. So, uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. And there you have it, uh, Jake Turtlefucker. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Michael hey, Taint. Florida, you know anything about a, 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 where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S rank interrogation! Oh man, you know how I get nervous. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey. If you went through any of this funny business, you are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Oh, look at this. Suddenly, eh? Oh, look, another one walking away when they hear the truth. Screw you. Another one walking away when they hear the truth. Oh, anyways, like I was saying, suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new, too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. All right, cool. Cool. Cool story, bro. I can't believe I'm telling you to be careful, Eddie. Guess what? I kinda care about you now, so sue me. <clears throat> Stop it with this pop up. Hey, so we're looking for this new high on life. Be careful, don't get you. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well the torgs are with the G3 now. So it's best not to stick your nose. Oh you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? Oh, shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone! Get him! <laughs> You guys don't not remember me? You know, I got 
I think everything's good. I think we good. Easy. Easy. Oh, sorry for the scorch or I bet it Hold your horses, human. We'll save you. Oh We did save a human. Space Applebee's. There's a space Applebee's up here? What the flip? I actually cannot believe that there's a space Applebee's. That's insane. That is crazy. Wow, looks like the property value is going up around here. High on life has got to be close. Well, we are at space Applebee's, so we are nearby.
Oh, I almost fell. I'm just trying to see to make sure that everything is good to go. I'm just trying to see if there's any chest that I Dead. Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, I see you. Two for one deal right there. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. What are you doing? Get out of this shit. I'm sorry, my B, my B. So there's this. So we're good now. Thank God. We're good now. We're good now. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we fill on that, and then there we go again. Anything else that I am missing? I don't think I'm missing anything else, am I? Let's save those humans, bounty hunter. Wow. Oh my god. That's quite that's quite a bit of humans. Holy Save those humans. Oh, yeah, we got to. Got to save the human. What happens if we use this? This place? I don't know. This place is cool. They gave us free air massages. Yeah, I keep telling them that's not really something that humans like, but they keep offering them, so I keep taking them. We get 12 full meals a day. None of us have the heart to tell them we don't need to eat that much. 12 meals a day? Oh. I tried reserving the sex room, but the waiting list is really long, and they only let one person in at a time. I don't think they know how we have sex. There's a doctor here giving free checkups. Got my first physical in years. The doctor didn't really understand the human body, so I don't think it helped at all. But hey, free checkup. The toilets here are just out in the open. No dividers. But honestly, we all got used to it real quick. Now it's a fun thing like, hey, Toby's taking a shit. Let's all watch. Okay. So you're the one that's saving us all. I get it. Okay, cool that you get it. All right, well, better leave. I hope it leaves me exactly where I took the TP. All right, it does. It does. All right, cool, cool, cool. Nope. The bad thing is that they don't really give me any rewards for helping out or all them. But it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any. Go. We made it to high on life. I'm a big hyperbomb fan. I love buying hyperbombs. I've got 20 of them already. And I'm gonna... oh. All right, we made it to high on life. Oh, thank God they opened this new high on life store. I've been counting down the days. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923. Your local hyperbong superstore. Please, no trap. This is the bong? During the midnight launch. 
Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. <laughs> high on life. How can High on Life help you today? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Okay. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. I don't like how they're using us. Authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3. But can I offer you membership in our high on life care program? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek, and I'm gonna be your personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Me? No. no, no, I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big idea. Punch, and we literally just opened, so, uh, I only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already <laughs> feel my soul leaving my body. Oh, God. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. Oh. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Ah. That's right. So you're the manager. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager. Oh, I no. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking uh -oh. everywhere where don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. 
Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good vet, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was, was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very fuck. Magboos. Oh, we got oh magnetic boots. That's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here. Well, you know. Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. All right, there you go. Whoa. Another wave, no problem. Power sliding. Thank you for letting me get some beauty sleep in. Alright, there we go. This is an urgent message from the committee to elect Chug. The election is about to end, so make sure you donate everything you have right now.
This gives me a good bird's eye view. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. But yeah, this gives me a really good bird's eye view of the ones that I missed. Alright. I see. That feels good. Oh, I see a treasure chest. I see a treasure chest. Doing a power slide. Look at you. Come on, crossing my antenna for something good here. Okay, there we go. Where is this even taking me? I have no idea where this is taking me. I'm finding a lot of chests that I have not found for a bit. Alright, well, might as well TP, right? What time is it? Again. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. 
No oh god, no wonder. No wonder the nice hate him. So who are you? Ah, hello, hello. Who sent you? Present Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. Yeah, the where family or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G hello, hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? He says you're the How are you? How is the stream? I, I was looking for most of it. Says the G3 is But here's your hog. Here's he. Hello, hello. I I I hope I hope your midterm was good. I hope your mother is fine. I hope you're doing good. Hey. Yeah, I was mostly I was mostly lurking. Uh because I was I was at work. But 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 I've always been meaning to play Franbo. Always. Always. Wait, who are we killing him? You want us to kill him? You pass? Hey. You know what they say. Please get the green. <laughs> We had no I've, I've been meaning to play. Wait, if you like um Frambo, you should play Sally Face, or maybe you already played Sally Face. Clug wants to speak in person. All right, let's let's go talk to Clug. Clug, who who who's who's who's? You're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? I am. Just relax. Also, clean it up. Clean up your shovel full of poop. When I get back, Gorillaz, you're gonna get kicked out. Oh, you have played Sally Pays. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Stop. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. I don't have money. Well, you lurks? Ah, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Ah, uh, okay. What? What do you want? What do you want? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what we want to do, you know? But uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick him <laughs> off the way and find him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. They're so funny. That fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. You're doing great work. Thank you. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. They... I mean, I can see similarities, but still. That's... um. Who's a wife, then? Who's a mother? Who is the mother? Go? Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. I get out there and kill Giblets. Poke his crown. And Jill can only after. At night, when the mask is off. Use the portal, okay. Look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy. But I can't hide the truth of myself. Is that Zephyr? Oh. Sorry, wrong place. I meant to put where I need to go. Or should I first buy... How do you... Oh. Oh, here we go. You go here. Zephyr. I should probably buy something first real quick. Cause they do have two thousand. All right. I I zoom. I zoom. I'm zooming. I zoom. Oh, I see where I could I could hold on. And what brings such 
such an esteemed bounty hunter to my humble establishment. A thousand, huh? Ready to pull the Screw it. I'm gonna just buy Wonderful. the health pack. And then a thousand two hundred for that. Then that's three thousand. So that basically goes faster. We got this thing, which is two thousand five hundred. Um, and then isn't there another thing that I could buy or something like that? No, I don't think so. I think that's all that. Oh, there. Oh. Oh, these are gun stuff. Ah, those are gun stuff. I hope you enjoy it. I will. I will. Thank you. What even is this for? I have no clue. Ah, for this. <laughs> but this does give me a good bird's eye view. Ah, shoot. Okay, we wait for it to fuel, and then we go up here. You gotta use me more, okay? I'm in. How do we get out of this? Wait, I'm actually genuinely curious how to get out of this. Oh. Oh. Well, I was being a dummy. Ooh, I love this slide. Jesus. I freaked out because I was like, oh my god, am I stuck now? Oh wait, I could go to this place. I could go here. Yes. Yes. Hey, how's the bounty hunting? Give me for the movie theater, please. Oh, good choice. Good day to you, food customer. Thank you. Alright, so we got Carry found out. 
Oh my god, I, I don't know what he's watching, but he's watching something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. It's something. Oh, they bounce, don't they? Damn it. Ah, oh, man. I knew somebody was behind me. I was like, I was like, wait. Like, am, I am I somebody behind me? I didn't know if somebody was behind me, but now I... Ah, oh, man. I've been streaming for an hour. I'm only gonna stream until like 12 because it'll be too late. Boop. I just bought you see how it go? What? Alright. always the right choice. How much longer? Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, when are they gonna die? Okay. 
I see that over there. Loving the breeze. Just loving the breeze. Nothing better than a power slide breeze. Power slide is pretty cool. Okay. Invitation starts Kenny's aim fire. It's too powerful, shut up. Wait, oh, that's better. Yeah, this is better. Because that means it'll just make it better. All right, we're going to go over there just so we can see. What is that movie theater on about? Wait, I could get Cutie Town to be open. Aw, oh, we'll check on it in a second. Watch. Let, let's sit down and watch. It's starting. All right, let's see. All right, nice and comfy. So, guys, All what right. are we watching today? I don't know. It's just a black screen right now. But I'm, I'm very, uh, very anxious. What does it say, Rich? It says. Are those guys really gonna just talk the whole time? Demon wind. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Are you sure it's not an unrelated wind? Oh my. Oh my. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Somebody got burnt on a cross in 1931. It was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. Barbecue ever. I, I I figured out the fa uh, family lineage, by the way, gentlemen. I've oh, seen this, oh, this film movie we haven't watched. I, I've seen the film before, uh, 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 fourteen different times. Oh my God, you've seen Demon Wind fourteen times. Yes, I mean you guys. Have so not. this has to be really good. Then. Well, I no, can't wait. I, I've watched it fourteen times so I could figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. I'm having a fireplace. <laughs> Oh my god, they, they're actually gonna be talking through that, all of it. Jesus was always my favorite family member. So what relation is Jesus? That's our Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Great Uncle Jesus. Jesus, it, ironically, all of his photos are in color. But all the people who were born in 1931, all their photos are in black and white. I don't know how they achieved this technological <laughs> marvel. 
it hurt you to smile, Grandma? You're in demon wind. Your career is going places. Uncle Jesus, the college years. Oh my god. Oh, it's my favorite song. Washed in the Blood of the Lamb by Styx. That's what you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they like their candles, I guess. Uh, their wicker baskets. They love the Jesus. The Jesus protects the house when, uh, except for the fact that he doesn't protect the house. Candles, glass jars, religious photos, wicker baskets. Oh, now I know where my thrift store got all of its merchandise. That's what you got. Oh my God, this is the worst Thanksgiving ever. No one showed up. The one guy that did show up, they burned down a cross. Help me, Jesus! I'm watching Demon Wind. It's kind of funny. They're, 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 kind of, they're all this religious picture, all these religious pictures, you know. Oh, they have all these pictures of Jesus, but they never once like mentioned Jesus in any of their spells. It's not religious, you know, for the MJ. We've oh, seen the, you've seen this movie before? I've seen this movie before with oh. MJ. Oh, so you paid to see it again in a theater, huh? Uh, I did. That's well, that means it's got to be good, right? I, I, I'm assuming so, yeah. We'll find out. Are they actually gonna? Did they actually? Demon wind. Oh my god! Out of all that religious shit, they, they didn't have a good cross to use. They had to make it out of like cardboard. Well, they spent all their money on the Jesus pictures. Oh. Those boards are nailed to the door. That literally does nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you, do you know what I'm saying, Rich? I know what you're saying. They're just nailed to the door. They're not, they're not keeping the, the... Oh, I guess a, a little bit goes up. A couple of them are up there. Just to, okay. Wait, they it would keep you from pulling the door out. But you know what? In my personal experience, if a demon wants to get in your house, nothing's going to stop it. You know? Getting stronger. Did Zach Baggins tell you that? He did. Did you bring the daggers yeah. and the diary? You always told me you liked my cooking. He's just uh, having a diabetic reaction to her Christmas cookies. Oh my god. to your green bean casserole. I just went to the gym with John Travolta. <laughs> I don't understand that joke at all, but I think I do, and I don't like it. Does John Travolta have diseases? I don't understand your joke. Do you think it was a semen joke? Like that's what was coming out of his mouth, all curdled and disgusted, filled with blood. That's what Hollywood does to you. Are you sure we're not watching David Lynch's Dune? This is the Baron, right? Yeah, drink this snow globe. Drink the snow globe? It's got, it's got Benadryl in it. <laughs> it's the end of both of us. It's, now the snow globe is magic, Rich. No, my For no reason at all. She you breaks the snow globe. It's a Jesus snow globe. Her curse is broken. No. 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 It's filled with no. I really don't know. No. Although this is only the, their second worst thing. I'm not liking this being so secure. <laughs> the end of the movie no oh. ladies and gentlemen ireland's most advanced expressway <laughs> not bad ireland's most advanced expressway i'll explain to you the lineage or you guys just ask me anything about i mean this is the premise uh, he's driving 
Uh, he's taking his girlfriend. How much farther is it to your grandparents? What the hell's her name? Diane or something? Know. I don't know. I think not. Julie Rabe. B. Arthur? No, he's driving her. Oh, here's a flashback. He's driving her to visit to find his grandparents' uh, uh, farm farmhouse. Farmhouse. And now this is Corey's dad. He hasn't seen his dad Corey. his whole life, and he decides to look him up and visit him. Dan. And then the very next day after what being visited like by his son Corey, his dad He's kills himself. Drunk. So a pretty standard Christmas. I mean, maybe he killed himself because he lived in a, no. a cardboard apartment yeah, building. Whatever. Or Corey told him he was going to really pursue acting. You, I'm in this new film watch called watch Demon Wind. Fuck this! I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on him. I can't live with the shame. Uh, I can't Give live with the shame of, of your career. Give me in the face once. Uh, but he hasn't told his girlfriend about that his father killed himself. All he told her is, listen, uh, we uh, we got to go find my grandparents' farm. Yeah. And and I'm going to invite 12 of my whitest friends to come along. So they can be killed off one by one by demons. I mean, it sounds like a good, like a fun group activity. A couple more of them could have rode with in that car. Yeah, it's saved on gas. Yeah, yeah. No room. The back seat was taken up with all of his emotional baggage. Bum, 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 bum. Parents, it's 10 a.m. Do you know where your neglected redheaded stepchild is? not going to touch the car with it, Stick. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> also, they invented soap. That <laughs> little girl. <laughs> in the bathtub. Unless you're a ghost. You think she's a ghost? I don't know. There, there's no indication that she is or isn't. She looks like she could be inbred, though. I think that's very weird. See? That's why I thought this was Ireland. Child, is he just in their shot? Hey, I, I'm baffled that they actually. I don't know much about Ireland. Isn't driving fun? So? Don't you love watching people drive just that sense. somewhere rich in a film? Since I saw my old man, there's a. Uh, yes. I mean, it works in Cannonball Run. Like Would you say Demon Win is the Cannonball Run of horror films? <laughs> I think that's a very accurate statement, yes. <laughs> it sounded like you said cannibal. This is like a podcast. No. This is, we're literally hearing three dudes just <laughs> Oh my god. Cannibal runs a good name for a horror film. But first we gotta talk about this gas station. I've been here before. And what? this very common dream. dream that I've had. I don't know about you guys. You've been naked in this gas station and you've never been here before? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is butt naked. Wait. mother comes up and asks to chat. You've had this dream before. Oh, that's not his mother. That's his grandmother. Yes. Would you like me to talk about the lineage yet? <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you please tell me about the lineage? Well, they're about to go inside the gas station, and that's some of the best scenes in the film. Because we get to see the paper mache gas station. Sorry. Have the naked dream. Pretty I'll wait till the next driving season. <laughs> to talk about the dream. I still don't understand it. What is the driving scene? Yes. There's lots of driving and walking and waiting. For why? That was the original title of the film. <laughs> Corey. Corey, are you alright? Yeah. This road is really doing a number on my hemorrhoids. Well, I'm, I'm fine now, really. Oh, see? They spot the gas station from the top of the hill, and then they take the car three miles an hour to the gas station so that we can wait even longer for them to get there. <laughs> this is where he chose to put his gas station? This does seem like a terrible location. Oh, thank God. I haven't had a customer since 1952. There's not even like a gravel parking lot. No. It's just in the middle of a field. 
Because it's fake. It's a fake <laughs> gas station jail. Oh. There's no <laughs> infrastructure oh my. where they could fill the gas tanks up <laughs> under the ground or anything. But it's it's a spooky supernatural gas station. Oh, like it shouldn't be there. What can I do you for? Maybe if that if it's a ghost gas place, station, maybe. perhaps. But I think the they cash? just didn't want to film no at a real place. gas station. This it, map it, is it, right you know, near so here. They just made one. I, 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 the first time I saw this film, I thought that it was going to blow up. She wants some gas. Know? It's like when they have an old car in the middle of a field. Oh, oh yeah, you know what's coming. This film was destined to fail. What? There's no way this film is going to blow up. <laughs> no, no, the gas station, not the film. All right, let, let me see if they actually do the whole... There's no such place as a barber shop either, so don't go looking for that. Do you think these gas pumps actually work? Right, the map could be wrong. Do you think these actors actually work? No, not anymore. Not after Demon Wind came out. This is the place in the dream. I mean, if you had a dream where you were naked and your mother was bloodied with her throat ripped open, would you stop at this gas station? Alright, alright, we're leaving. Screw that. We're leaving. Yeah, you know what? That's, 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 that's enough of that. It's always nice to take a break, you know, but eventually you got to get back to the adventure, you know? Yeah, that, I, di I didn't think that would take so long. My God. All right, let, I'm going to... Ah, Jesus. All right, let, me, let me check in on Cutie Town. Let's see how Cutie Town is doing. to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch tall guys who love each other and only know how to be nice. We welcome all strangers with open arms and a full heart. I'm so, so glad you found your way to our sweet little slice of heaven. Please, we all hope you enjoy your time here. Go on, step inside. Trust me, friend, you'll have the time of your life here in Little Cutie Town. Just head on down the main strip there towards downtown and take in all the cute little sights. We have a library made of candy and a pond filled with honey. Oh, well, well it's okay if you don't want to come in and see Cutie Town. It's, it's fine. My feelings aren't hurt at all. It doesn't bother me even a little bit that you didn't want to come in and take a nice... Pleasant walk around our cute little perfect town and see all my beautiful cute little friends. I'm not gonna cry at all or anything, especially not as soon as you leave. I'm not gonna let this eat away at my soul for years and keep telling my therapist about how I completely fucked up and scared away our first nice looking visitor in years. I'll tell my therapist, God, I'm such a fucked up little freak who can't even do simple welcome speeches for perfectly nice visitors. I bet I pissed him off just by saying so many dumb things. That's what I'm going to say to my therapist. And she's going to say, yup, that's exactly what happened. You're stupid and you need to leave little cutie town oh forever. Because you're bad and you suck. All because I couldn't convince you to come off. Oh, why? Oh, man. Oh, my God, really? You don't want to check that out? They, they, they seem nice. Oh, fantastic. You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 you're destroying everything! Oh my god, you're so big! I, I, didn't, I didn't realize how big you were compared to our town. It, oh my god, it's really obvious now. I just didn't realize how much damage you'd do. Oh my god, I shouldn't have invited you in! Oh my god, what did I do? That's my childhood home, you just stepped on some puppies! Oh my god, this is, this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing everyone I love die. Oh no, there goes Cutie Steven. You just stepped on Cutie Steven. You didn't even realize it because you're so big. You just step on my friends and it doesn't even register to you. Oh no, Cutie Steven was my lover. We were in love and now he's dead. Oh. You know how much that hurts to see, you know how much it hurts to see the person you were in love with just get squished by a giant freak with no fucking qualms whatsoever. Oh my god. <sighs> 
so you're just gonna keep you're gonna keep running around my my cute little town and smashing stuff like you're just gonna have fun with that that's that's what you want to do you know you could leave you could get out of here and do anything else but you're not you're just you're gonna keep knocking stuff down <laughs> okay all right i'll just sit here and watch i guess i'm powerless to stop you i'm so tiny and small and weak and cute there's nothing i could do if i wanted to stop you by force it's, it's just not an option for me oh well this the, I'm, uh, this sucks <laughs> i've said it before and i'll say it again this fucking sucks do you know how long it took us to build this city? This is centuries of work. This is this is civilization for us. This is the only city on our planet, by the way. This is where all the people live. So if you crush and destroy this city, which you're doing, we're all gone. This is a genocide. This is definitely counting as a genocide. When the history books take a look at uh, what happened here, they're going to say this, uh, this whole alien race was genocided by this giant freak who just decided to traipse in and crush everyone for fun. Or by, by accident or for fun. It's not really clear why you're doing this. I'm, ju <laughs> I'm just upset about it, that's all. Sorry I'm reacting so strongly to everyone dying. It's, uh, 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 it's just my instinct, you know? I, I, uh. You know what? No! Fuck it! I, this is, I should be reacting strongly. This is, you're killing people. You're killing everyone I know. I'm allowed to be mad about that. I'm very allowed. Well... so big you're gonna ruin things you should have told me i didn't think about it i'm kind of dumb sometimes but you're you're not as dumb as me i i assume so you should have said hey i'm not gonna go in there i don't want to stomp on shit like a big godzilla not for me not my, not what i want to do with my life i don't want to go kill everybody that's what you should have said instead you just did it you walked in and you knocked over entire buildings everyone's dead now i am i am so sad I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I mostly I'm just yelling, but if you if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I am so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. Do you ever? Can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be. I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back? They're like, "Why me? Why did I live?" Whoa, Jesus! I wasn't sure if you were gonna actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, maybe it was the right thing to do. It was the only thing to do. Uh, yeah. I don't. I, uh, that's on them, right? For inviting us in. You know? Think about it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. They invite us. Uh, they invite us. Uh, us in well, there. Looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. 
Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway? And it turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know, and def- Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll let you go. Oh, God, please, uh, to your business. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphalt to you tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. There's only like three people, though. All right, he dead, he dead. Oh. And he did. If only they were all this week, you know? All right, and then we take this warp drive. Beautiful. Doing a power slide, look at you. We do that, we do this. It's nice to kill something guilt free, you know? I'm gonna ravish you with bullets. That's for Gatless. Gatless. Who is Gatless? Can we even make that? Okay. Getting really crazy out there. I keep hearing aliens talking about a new hyperbong that can smoke humans. Yeah. 
We might need to shave all, all the hair off our bodies to blend in better. Yeah. You do it first, though. You want? You want it? I, I, I'm dying. I'm dying. Can you, you... Uh, oh, thank God! Thank God, someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh. What happened? Oh God, what, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh, my God, it was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. We'll, we'll stay with you as long as it takes. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for oh. staying with me. As I die, oh, just just don't leave. Okay, and I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Fuck! That rips my heart out. Hey, hey, hey! Where, where are you guys going? You you promised me you'd stay with me until I. Hey, hey! Thanks for coming back. Are you really dying? You, you, you sound fine now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. No. Oh, my God. Oh, stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Thank you. Oh, here, here I go. Oh, my God. Are you going to die? All right. Shit. I, I, I guess that's it, then. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet. If you leave me again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Yeah. Oh, whoops, never, never mind. I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real, this, the, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good. I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, good, goodbye. Hey. Oh, oh. Okay, this time it's got to be real. Let, let, let's just get out of here. It's it's depressing. Better be dead. Hey, hey guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back here and stay with me. Okay, fuck this. Guys, are you coming back over or what? I'm dying. I, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I, I don't think I'm going to die. But I am so disappointed in you for leaving me in my time of need when you explicitly promised you wouldn't. Listen, we've got places to be. It's important. Can we just wrap this up? Oh, no, wait. I, I'm dying for real now. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. Two steps away, I swear. Oh, shit. I guess he really did finally die. I guess he did, finally. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you know, fuck you, okay? I'm, I'm dying for real over here, and it's really sad. I'm all alone. Oh, I'm dying alone. Oh. All right, we're leaving? Okay, you know what? You're right. We, we, we are in a hurry. We should keep going. Y you still alive, man? Y you're not just pranking us or something, right? Uh, I, I guess, I guess, I guess it's, I guess, I guess it, that's that, then. Hey. Oh, hi, man. Hello. Hello. I was actually just about to end the stream, too. <laughs> actually, believe it or not, it didn't set me late. Uh, yeah, no, my, my eyes are starting to close a bit, too. But hello, hello, hello. Hi, hello. Let me give you a hug. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to be tired. I'm, I'm becoming a, I'm becoming a, a sleepy soup. Yes. It, it is like midnight. Oh my god, it's already 12. I said, oh my Jesus. I said I was going to end at 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to go to sleep right now. Because I do have to wake up early to... Well, that... Okay, so I work at 10. But I, I get up like at around 8. Stay in bed like an hour. To just to, to scroll around. Alright, alright. We're going to end this stream here. Uh, normally I would rate somebody, but that's going to take more time. And I'm, I'm just getting sleepy. I don't know if you guys can tell like, my voice. I'm like... I'm just getting tired. All right, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. It's always great. Even if they, I appreciate everybody who stopped by to drop by and say hello, even if it's so late. I just hope everybody has a good rest of their night. Buenas noches, dulces sueños. I love everybody. I'm gonna miss everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good night.
uh, basically what I say in Spanish is good night, sweet, uh, sweet dreams. Uh, buenas noches is good night. Dulces sueños is sweet dreams. Uh, but yes, yeah, I love everybody. And until tomorrow, until then. All right. Good night, everybody. Buenas noches. Or good morning if you're on the other side of the world. Or good afternoon. Because I know in the Philippines it's afternoon. I know in Europe it's morning. Uh, but all right. All right. Bye bye everybody. Love you guys. Bye bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.